we're going to create a module that is only using a single user control. This is a technique that's often used for troubleshooting things on your DNN website, but what we're about to do should never be uh, done in production, and it should also never be considered a best practice. If you are building custom modules, this is not the way that you should be doing it. In order to begin, you should open up the website in your preferred text editor or code editor. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Be sure to open up the website to the desktop modules folder, and now we can create our own folder. My new folder is called Example Module. Now I'm going to add a user control. I've added user control files that are called default.ascx and default.ascx.cs. There's nothing in these files yet. I'm going to have to add them now. In the front end control, you can see that I have the control directive and I have a label that's called label message. In the code behind for that user control, I've added a little bit of code that all it does is it updates the label with a message. We upendo DNN. Now we'll want to register this into the DNN website. In order to register the extension, we'll first need to be logged in as a super user. Then we can go to the persona bar and choose the extensions view. In the extensions view, we have the ability to create a new module. We'll want to create the new module from a control. For this example, you can ignore the owner folder, but we'll want to choose the folder we just created under the module folder. DNN will automatically see, recognize, and choose the user control if it's there. If there's more than one, you can choose it from the drop-down list. We'll also want to give it a name. Now that we've given it a name, we can go ahead and create it, and notice that it's going to automatically create a test page for us. We can see the example module we just created listed amongst the other modules. If you refresh a page, you'll see that your new page is created. When the page loads, we can see that our message is there. Let's make a change to make sure that this is actually working. I've just added the term a lot and made the message a header. We're going to save our change and then see that reflect on the website. Now we can see that we up into a lot is a header on the website, and that's all there is to creating a web control and using that as a module. Again, you should not be doing this in production, and you should not be considering this a way to actually create modules. This is not considered to be a best practice, but it's a very useful way for you to be able to do something quickly that doesn't need to actually be a module. If you're going to build a module, we definitely suggest that that's what you should do. Thanks for watching.